Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So for those who are familiar to our channel, you have probably seen that we have actually doing fattening for crabs that are 300 grams and 500 grams and above. So in this video, I'll be doing slightly different. I'll be using our boxes and comparing one of the newer boxes out there in the market for soft shell crab production. So stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back guys. So for those who are not familiar with our channel, RS Aquaculture produces content with regards to aquaculture, especially for mud crab farming and shrimp farming. And if you like our content and like what you see, do like and subscribe and you will get a weekly notification for our newest video. So in our current crab farm, we have actually decided to allocate the last block specifically for soft shell crab production. So unlike the crab fattening operation whereby you'll be only putting one crabs per box, in a soft shell crab, it is common to put up to 3 to even 4 pieces of mud crabs inside the boxes. And you can see over time, you know, some of these crabs have actually been declawed so it doesn't cause us cannibalism. And these crabs have actually been here for about 2 weeks. Right? And you can see some of their limbs have actually started to grow back already. So here's a good you know, box of, you know, here having there's four crabs inside and you can see that for most of the crabs, even for this, which is a slightly bigger crab and the limbs have actually started to grow back even after a short period of about 13 to 14 days. So if you compare the soft shell crabs in the other boxes, uh, which is the newer box that I've shown you one or two weeks earlier, we managed to get some samples in which we can put some of the crabs here for testing. So as you can see, unlike the previous boxes which has a water inlet that shoots up from the top pipe, this doesn't have any water inlet. So you can see that the water is gently moving and similar to the previous case, the mud crabs have actually also grown back their limbs even after 13 days. And you can see a very very gentle current that is pushing through the boxes and cleaning it. So at this angle, you can probably see it a bit clearly. We are also feeding the crabs here fish and a bit of pellets and you can see that the crabs are just able to rest at the corner without the interference of the inlet pipes that might be too strong because in the blue color box, they tend to stay back in the behind of the boxes because due to the high inlet. So one of the nice thing about this box is being yellow, it is actually much more easier to observe and even that the transparent cover is also helps to monitor the crabs because as you can see that even with the cover on we could still look at and monitor the crabs which saves a lot of time especially if you are monitoring a lot of crabs. So this is one of the problems with the old boxes as you can see with the water jet coming in what you tend to do is to cause a, a lot of foam on top of the surface and you know generally it will be hard for you to observe the crabs as compared to a system uh, like this as you can see the yellow boxes with the jetter current the it's very easy to just spot the crabs and to make sure that they are not already molting or they are finishing their food. Alright, so for those who are wondering, you know, uh, whether the blue color boxes is really suitable or is it more suitable for fattening, uh, like what you see here. Generally, I think that both boxes can be used at both fattening and soft shell crab. Uh, but the yellow boxes will have slightly better advantage in terms of productivity because it's easier to observe the crabs on its own. So you might be worrying, you know, whether the crabs uh, in the yellow boxes have enough space. So I've actually modeled out, you know, using a 300 to 400 gram size in the yellow color box. You can see that it's doing quite well. And this is a 400 to 500 gram size crabs, as you can see, no issues at all. And even going up to the next size, which is a 5 to 600 gram size, which is what we normally do for fattening. So in this case, we have actually been flushed out some of the water to help them to enable self-cleaning in the boxes. Alright, so if you like our content, do like and subscribe to our channel, uh, where we will do monthly, weekly videos on the latest updates in aquaculture technology.